genuinely, I think this inform Pochetta might be the best silver inform this year. I mean, look at these stats. 95, 97, 98, 96, 88 stamina. I mean, what a car this is going to be. Hi, everyone. I'm Ghost Masala, and welcome to the Polish Silver Team Review. This is a series where I take a load of silver teams, review them, and put them into the Great Silver Leaderboard. Here it is. The scores are all messed up, so don't look at the scores. Just look at the order. It's much better if you do that. As always, Nigeria at the top, Portugal at the bottom. Where will Poland go? Can they finish in the top half? That's a real question. And yes, this is looking like a pretty good team with some very interesting cards. A lot of different cards here. But yeah, it looks like it should be a fun team to use. So first off, we have the main man, Pacheta. So first of all, can I just say, my Polish pronunciation is not going to be that good. But yeah, we've already been over Pacheta. He looks phenomenal. I think he's just moved to Norwich in real life as well, which is shows how good his stats are. Um, he's kind of extinct too. I bought him for 1100, but he was extinct for a while and I couldn't find him for a bit. Looking through the rest of the team, we've got Kovnaki over here. Uh, looks like a pretty all-round striker. Uh, Pavlovsky as well on the other side. Got good dribbling, so that's why I decided to use him. In terms of centre mid, though, this guy, Zerkovsky. I mean, what a phenomenal card this looks like. Uh, I mean, so good. 92 stamina, 85 sprint speed. I love having fast um, centre mids because the counter-attacking potential means you've got so much better transition. Romanchuk for some physical presence in the middle. I've got some other options on the bench if I want. And this guy Moravsky is not half bad either. Got a good acceleration which um, is also always good and a good agility and balance. 94 stamina. Yeah these sentiments look seriously good. Uh, good at right backs too. Some Polish internationals. Rebus and Berezinski. Again decent cards. You know good defending. Good all round cards. In terms of centre backs, so this is probably the most se interesting centre back I've seen for a while. Rzezniak, but yeah, this guy, I mean, 72 pace, right? And 82 physical. Only 66 defending, though. I mean, only 60 defensive awareness. And alongside him, we have an actual good defender in Kaminski. Could be either a really good defence or a really bad one. Bartomiej Dragowski uh, got a good few informs. I think he made the most saves ever in a match a couple of years ago. Should be a seriously good goalkeeper. On the bench, we have some promising talents in Robert Gumney and Josh Viak. Yeah, they'll probably come on. Uh, Gumney got that extra pace, and Josh Viak, of course, he's a talent, so I had to put him in the squad. We also have Grzycki, uh, should be an interesting super sub. Klitsch, because I know who he is. Uh, Frankowski got that 92 pace, just low dribbling, so I decided to keep him out. Zeminski, if we want some more defensive solidity, and Bielek. But yeah, let's get into the game, see how this team does, see where it fits on the leaderboard. Oh, we're going up against a good team. Usually I get bad teams with a silver team, but this is, I like the four rainbow cards in each corner. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, very, very solid team. Andre Gomez there as well. Berezinski, good interception. Good start. Good pass. Zodokovsky. Oh, Placetta's throw. Please don't be offside. Please, right. Art oh, skills. From Pulicetta over to Zerkovsky, serious lag, takes a shot and the lag killed me there, I reckon I would have scored, oh no. Slide him, oh Rzezniak, what are you doing, oh no, this is not good, we've been left with two defenders due to a slight glitch and it's a goal and maybe diving in wasn't the best choice there, but uh, yeah, it's not gone well for me. Rebus, oh, Rebus has done well there. Crosses it in to Placetta. What was that? Kaminsky, what a tackle. Manages to keep with his man. Oh, some good skill from him there. Hits the post. Incredibly lucky. That was a good shot. Placetta, he's got the pace. He's got the dribbling. No. Yeah. What? Oh, Dragovsky, come on, you've got to be doing better than that. How's he conceding that then? Half time? Uh, yeah, just trying to get back into the game now. Kovnaki, he's through. Oh, that's a last stitch tackle. And we get lag again. Good save from Dragovsky. Okay, so I was going to do some subs, but I've disconnected. But yeah, I think that was me disconnecting. Such a laggy game though. But anyway, on to the second one. Right, yeah, this is the team for this match. Brought Robert Gumney in. Let's see what they can do. Wow. Oh my. What was that? Why is he passing it for? Should have shot. Done a chip shot or something. 
Just gotta stand him up. Stand him up and give him 10 yards of space because my brain is a mess. Ha! <laughs> give me the ball then. Huh. Oh my! But Placetta gets the goal! Nearly messed that up so badly. Oh, what was that shot from Morawski? But Placetta gets the goal. And, you know, pretty easy one to take. Oh my! EA! Brilliant save from Drogowski. Seems to make, pull off some great saves when he's up to it. Um, you know, sometimes when you're playing against Thierry Henry, you can make excuses all you want. Maybe the wrong decision there. But Pavlovsky still got the ball. Placetta! Still! Oh, good save. Oh, we've got space for Placetta here. And you know what's happening. If Placetta has space, penalty! Yes, Placetta wins it. I'd almost messed that up again. Yeah. We'll, we'll let Kovnaki have it, he's actually got decent penalties. No, and it's saved. Need to make penalties easier to score, to be honest, in this game. Romanchuk, close. Yeah, no, not getting Thierry Henry this time. It is this time, though. Come on, we've had all the chances. All of the chances. Hooray! Right, second half, come on. Just a couple more goals, we're not too far out of it. I've disconnected again. To be honest, I'm probably going to leave it there. It's just been really laggy today. I'm going to play some more games with the team off camera like I normally do to get a better better recap of it. Um, but yeah, I think I've, I've kind of got a good idea of the team already. But yeah, go, I'll go and play some more games and that hopefully won't disconnect. And then I'll come back and give you the final verdict. Here's the silver leaderboard. Where will Poland fit? Well, Poland got a massive 9.0, and I decided to just put them below Brazil, but that means they are third in the all time rankings. I mean, this is such a good team, and I'll explain why. So, here's the final team loads of good things about this team. The best player is, of course, Pacheta. So, why is he so good? It's so hard to explain why he feels good, but it's like you know how some people say that icons feel better because they're icons? It's like this guy feels better because he's a silver inform. Shooting and dribbling seems better than it actually is. Best silver card? Um, probably not. You know, I do still think maybe Adama Traore does give him a run for his money. But the difference between him and Adama Traore is that Pochetta actually has a good team around him. So yeah. Um, the best thing about this team was that everyone was so good at tackling and winning the ball back. You know, all the midfielders, all the defenders would just win the ball in unexpected situations. So where's the letdown? Unfortunately, the letdown is the striker, Kovnaki. I mean, you saw that penalty, it wasn't that good. But yeah, he just wasn't that good. Lacks pace, his shooting's not good enough either, you know. We see a lot of strikers with 73, 71. This guy's only got 70. Unfortunately, there's not many other options apart from a silver inform with only 63 pace. And I wasn't going to use him. So yeah, it's just unfortunate because I think that would really complete the team to have a strike like this. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to leave suggestions for future Silver Stars, um, for a future country that I could review. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.